Hello again, everybody. I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the Elvis Archival Preservation Society. If you're a big Elvis fan like us, this is your society, our society, the EAP Society. Uh, the EAP Society is not just a YouTube channel, it's a movement, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you are enjoying the videos. If you want to support even more, become a member of the Elvis Archival Preservation Society. Go to EAPsociety.com, click on Become a Member. Members get videos early, they get them ad-free, they get extended videos, bonus content, exclusive content, all kinds of fun stuff. And, of course, when we hit to uh, 20,000 subscribers on the channel, somebody is going to win this letter opener that belonged to Elvis from 1956. He owned it until, 19, until the early 70s. It is the perfect way for any Elvis fan to open love letters straight to their heart. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. It's the... Uh, all right, so we're going to look at... Sorry, that's just mwah, beautiful. <laughs> we are going to look at uh, another set of sets from Cool Romeo. This is the Celluloid Rock series. I think I saw these before I saw the Unsurpassed Masters. Oh, okay. And I love the artwork. On yeah. The I like these decidedly more than the look of the Unsurpassed Masters boxes. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I have to agree with that. And some of these come from the same, uh, from cassette transfers of the same tape sources I was mentioning with the ah, Unsurpassed Masters. Very cool. Not in all cases, but uh, particularly, let's see, uh, Frankie and Johnny and Spin Out. And I think parts of, I think parts of Flaming Star... And maybe even, uh, maybe even love a little, love a little, and double trouble. But so, guess, about two thirds of this set, honestly, at least half, I would say. But lots of great material. So we're gonna close in so you can see. This is cool. First, th this shot always reminds me of uh, one of the DC Comics uh, covers where Lois Lane and Lana Lang are fighting over Superman. <laughs> Just one of those things. So we are going to look at both of these. So we're going to start. We're going to start with volume one. Nice girls, girls, girls co cover shot. Yes. Elvis yeah. being choked, which is just a strange choice. It's a very strange choice. But a playful one. Yes. Uh, maybe to kind of play on what people thought at the time of Elvis movies. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And uh, what they thought that this was doing to what this had done to his career, I guess, is one way to look at it. But uh, so we're going to open this bad boy up for you. And just like with the Unsurpassed Masters, we've got like one sheet. And uh, very, very cool, very cool little one sheet. I'll pass that over to you. Before you read that, we're going to look through the book here. And the pictures in this, again, like you were saying before, I think these are presented much better. Yeah. The layout here? Less is, purple. <laughs> oh, God, right? Less purple and green, so... And as we get further into the book, we're, we're going to start getting into uh, color shots. Ah, here we go. It's a nice, uh, nice girl-happy action going on up in there. <laughs> And so there we go. Not too shabby. All right. Now, these were, yeah, three disc sets. So we're going to start with the Girls, Girls, Girls material. All right. Get, well, give me one second. Let me get in here with the mic. Uh, there we go. Okay. We've got um, I Don't Want To. We're coming and loaded. Uh, three takes of Thanks to the Rolling Sea, including an acapella version. Then we've got Where Do You Come From? One take and take 14, so two different takes. We have two takes of Girls, 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 one that says different lyrics. And yeah, that's the end title, I believe. Uh, one uh, Return to Cinder, one Because of Love, one The Walls Have Ears, one Song of the Shrimp, Two takes of A Boy Like Me, A Girl Like You. Four takes of Mama. Mm -hmm. Now, I think those takes of uh, those takes of Mama, they, they go in a little more detail over here. Yeah, two are by the Amigos, one is an instrumental, and one has vocals by Elvis. Yeah, and yeah. those are in better quality than the uh, composite Mama 
that was released in 1970, I believe. Interesting. So you could take those and make your own version, which I believe they have done since. They've made a restored master for Mama, okay. like the long version. Right. But that gives you that gives you everything. Um, yeah, the Girls, 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 different lyrics. So the first Girls, Girls, Girls is the uh, Girls in Kimonos, that one. The other one that says different lyrics is the full master. Um, it's an interesting way to phrase that. Yeah. <laughs> is, yeah, the full master, a boy like me, a girl like you. Um, yeah, all of these. Sorry, continue. Uh, and tracks 20 to 22 are three takes of Earth Boy. Uh, track 23 is Dainty Little Moonbeams. Then I Don't Want to Be Tied. And then we've got Plantation Rock and the instrumental version of Plantation Rock. Mm hmm. Then we've got We'll Be Together by Elvis and the Amigos. And we've got two subsequent takes, including one that is labeled take 11, also of We'll Be uh, Together. And then track 30 is just gong for five seconds. Yeah, that, that, that is, um, I believe that's the gong before... Dainty Little Moonbeams? Yeah, it's just after. Yeah. Yeah, before... Before that reprise girls, of Girls, Yeah, girls, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the versions of Earth Boy on here are the two takes that comprise the movie master for Earth Boy, mm. as well as the record master. Now, is there anything on this that's not on the FTD classic album? I think there is, but it's mostly like uh, talking and uh, splices. Yeah, because there's not a lot left from this session, unfortunately. No, most of what's on here ended up on the FTD, but I think there might be... I think the edit for... I think Earth Boy, the outtakes for Earth Boy and some of that stuff, I believe those are slightly less edited than what's on the FTD by scant seconds or milliseconds. It's not much. All right. But they just, basically what they did is they took this and just kind of sort of truncated it for the sure. FTD. Aside from that, but yeah, this is a really great disc and there's still stuff on here. Not much, but there's still stuff on here that is uh, as relevant, and the sound quality is excellent. Cool. And uh, yeah, especially for the time, really, 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 really good. So highly, re uh, that's uh, that's one that uh, I'm. I would like to. Say, I'm looking forward to whenever they get around to doing the sessions of having. I mean, it's not going to be much, but having the stuff more complete than yeah. what's on the FTD, even though the FTD is a very nice presentation, very good mix. So Very cool. Yeah. All right. Now, disc two, we've got part one of the Frankie and Johnny sessions, which includes takes one to four of Petunia the Gardener's Daughter, <laughs> followed by insert one, and takes one to three and five of the insert of Petunia the Gardener's Daughter. Then we've got takes one to six of Chesse. And one, two... Okay, we've got Frankie and Johnny part one takes one to three. Mm -hmm. Then Frankie and Johnny sections two to seven. Mm -hmm. Then Frankie and Johnny take one vocals by Elvis. And then Frankie and Johnny takes two to six vocals by Elvis. Yeah. And we end the disc with takes one to 11 of Lookout Broadway... It says trio with Eileen Wilson and Ray Walker. Yes. Now, the sections of Frankie and Johnny are the movie master for, or the movie composite for Frankie and Johnny. The one that actually starts with the Jordan. Like, this story has no moral. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This story only goes to show that that's the version that we're. That's the version that they're talking about in there. Really interesting. And that is another one of the things that's on the the tape. And honestly, this is one of the few instances the tape does sound better. But, I mean, given the state of tapes at that time, sure, it's not great sound. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Very, very dry and dry and not a great way. Yeah. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah. All right, now this is disc three, which is Frankie and Johnny part two and a girl happy cover shot for a reason. <laughs> um, it starts with takes one to six of Shout It Out. And then we get takes one to 18 of Please Don't Stop Loving Me. 
Then we've got takes one to 15 of Everybody Come Aboard. And we end with bonus tracks from Girl Happy. Takes seven, 10, and 11 of Puppet on a String. Yep. And I don't know why they just decided to put that. Tacked on a live a little love a little poster. <laughs> yep. Because reasons, I guess. Because, hey, that's a good movie. None of it's on here, but let's fondly remember that. <laughs> let's fondly remember that. <laughs> oh, man. So that is uh, that is number one. And, you know, for the most part, I, I do remember there's a little more interesting stuff on here as far as things that are either not circulated or just a little bit different. And uh, so that means that even though there are only two volumes, that'll still we st we st we'll still kind of take our time with some of the material here. Uh, pretty fascinating stuff, and we still have volume two of Celluloid Rock to look at, which we will do after we come back from these messages. Okay, we are back and we are looking at Celluloid Rock Volume 2. Now, I think I said this at the top in case I didn't. Uh, this is not an endorsement of imports or bootlegs or anything like that. This is merely for historical purposes, educational purposes, because uh, these are pretty hard to find anymore. Sure. And so it's it's neat as, a histor as an historical document record for what the fan base was getting from various markets at the time. Yeah, and let me tell you, even when these first came out, if you guys think FTD sessions are expensive, these were more expensive. Yeah. That's why I never got them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, this was, uh, I, I believe when I saw these for sale, these were, now this came out in 1998. So these are- These are earlier. Yeah, these are, yeah, these are four years older than the Unsurpassed Masters sets. But, um, I believe they were about 120. I think they were selling the set of two for 250. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Yeah. And, and you know, I've been slow to come around to the movie songs. Yeah. Like, I love the movie songs now, but it took a while. Yeah. And uh, at the time that these came out, I was thinking 250 bucks for Frankie and Johnny outtakes. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> We're bring on Dominic and Old McDonald. Let's freaking go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> uh, let me see the... Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't mind me. I mean, well, here, before we look at that, let's check this out. We got a nice picture on the cover from Speedway. And then some flaming star shots. Yes. Good ones. Very good, yeah. I really do like the layout of this. Yeah. Even more nice flaming star shots. And now... Oh, well, sorry, folks. It's rescue <laughs> time. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. It's rescue time. And more flaming star uh, interesting. I like the standee from GI Blues. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just noticing that too. It's like that's, yeah. I would like to have one of those. Right? <laughs> Great stuff. Spin out. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, man. <laughs> What's up? That means he was using the Burns guitar in spin out, not double trouble. So it doesn't make sense because it's a British guitar. <laughs> oh. For some reason, I was thinking he used that in Double Trouble. Uh, I mean, you know, possibly both. I don't think so, though. I got to remember what... I think that he used an SG in Double Trouble. Oh, good. Okay. Which is... No, well, I know he did an Easy Come, Easy Go. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's another excuse to go for us to go watch the movies. Oh, darn. <laughs> some really cool shots from Speedway. Very cool. And uh, yeah, we get when we get to talking about the outtakes and stuff for that. That was incredibly fascinating. Learned a lot from the outtakes, or technically the master's presentation on uh, Speedway on this from this set, which was cool. And now for love a little, love a little. Good pictures. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And the outtakes are, are really nice as well. I believe everything was out, uh, eventually did come out on FTD, but mm. for the longest time, this was the only place to get it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, there's still stuff on here that has not come out officially. I know that for a fact. Yep. And we'll talk about that We've when we get into go, it. We had to go digging. <laughs> okay, here. Oops, wait, wait, that's not, that's three. Never mind. We need disc one. Here we go. All right, on disc one. Bring this around here so I can. We start show. with the Flaming Star sessions. We've got takes 20 to 26 of Summer Kisses, Winter Tears. Not all of these have been released officially. Which is nuts. That is nuts because, was, I mean, it was a one-disc FTD, I think. It was a one-disc FTD, yeah. You could have, you know, expanded it a little more. There's not a whole lot left from Flaming Star. It wasn't a whole lot recorded for Flaming no, Star. No, it's true. Then we've got uh, take one instrumental version of Britches. <laughs> we've got vocal overdubs, take one to seven. Yeah. Insert one, take one of Britches. And we finish it off with a cane and a high starch collar for that August 8th session. Mm -hmm. Then we go to take one of the backing track of Flaming Star. Oh, sorry. We're still here. <laughs> and the vocal overdub of Flaming Star. And then over on the spin out sessions, still on disc one, we've got takes one to seven of Smorgasbord. Takes one to seven of Stop, Look, and Listen. And take one and two of Am I Ready? Mm -hmm. And... Really good. I will say uh, the spin-out sessions are incredibly noisy, even on the tape source mm. that this comes from. Right. And this is a cassette copy of the tape source. Right. And so, yeah, the even the tape that it's based from and even the master, because that was a pretty high generation safety copy. Mm -hmm. um, even the master for or the that or that tape. Uh, for spin out is pretty noisy. The FTD honestly doesn't sound much better than those reels. Mm. And yeah, it's it's gonna. That's one that I think you know you, with Sebastian using his techniques and things that he he can do. A lot could be made from the spin out sessions. Sure. If uh, if one was so inclined. So speaking hey, of spit out. Be inclined. I love that album. Same. All right. Disc two, we've got takes three to six of Am I Ready? Takes one to three of Beat Shack, which are essential listening oh. if you have not heard them. <laughs> what you think I am? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, then we've got takes one to six of Never Say Yes. That's takes, good song. Yeah, well, I wouldn't call it a good song, but it's Elvis does it well. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, takes one to five of Spin Out, takes one to six of All That I Am, and takes one to 19 of Adam and Evil. <laughs> I don't want to live without whatever it is. <laughs> don't want to live without how don't I know. Yeah, that, that's the biggest thing. That's the reason there are so many takes of, of Adam and Evil. Yeah. Is that I don't want to live without that. It just, boy. And, and I get it. Sometimes. There are things that just do not, they just will not stick in your head right. And no matter what you do, doesn't matter. It just can't, it just does not work. So I, yeah, <laughs> I have the utmost of sympathies for Elvis's plight with that song. Well, he eventually got it the way he oh, wanted he did. it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying that the taking a while part. Well, here you go, Jamie, from your favorite Elvis movie, just create double <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Uh, all right uh, we've got uh could i fall in love and a vocal overdub take of could i fall in love yeah with the harmony we've got uh there's so much world to see we've got long-legged girl with the short dress on we've got double trouble twice as much as anybody else <laughs> we've got baby if you'll give me all your love i love only one girl old mcdonald it won't be long in city by night and since we only have one that has an alternate take are these just the masters yes and these masters are in binaural interesting mm -hmm. uh the yeah these masters are in binaural and do, 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 do. yeah the vocal overdub is yeah the vocal over, overdub i believe is the harmony vocal yeah yeah and everything else yep 
Everything else is uh, binaural. Elvis's voice is on one side and, and everything on the else on the other. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next, we've got outtakes from Speedway. There ain't nothing like a song. Your time hasn't come yet, baby. And then your time hasn't come yet, baby. Take six. I think these are masters as well, but uh, for the most part, they're masters as well. But the alternate of Your Time Hasn't Come Yet, Baby, if I remember correctly, is the movie version. Oh, okay. So, yeah. We've got five sleepy heads, take three. Who are you? Who am I? Take six. Speedway, take four. And suppose, take one. Then we've got a whole bunch more suppose. we got take seven. We've got a rehearsal with vocals and piano. We've got a vocal overdub. We've got an instrumental overdub. We've got an overdub with backing vocals and a choir. And we've got... Another overdub with backing vocals with choir. Okay, so just to let you all know, so suppose take one and suppose take seven or 17 and 18, mm -hmm. uh, those are the session masters. Okay. The recording date unknown, I, I, it's known now, I think, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Apologies. There's uh, rehearsal, vocals, and piano, and then vocal overdub, vocal overdub. So what they were doing is they were taking Elvis's home recording and uh, overdubbing it. Well, or, or making okay. a track, and I guess they were thinking he might come in later, or they were just going to use his vocal as was, whatever. Right. Uh, so this is, so this is the pieces that they were able to acquire from that session. Interesting. So it's a it's a it's a different arrangement on suppose, which is cool to hear. It is actually very. This is actually fascinating. It is it is its own little session that they did. Cool. Yeah. And then uh, we finish off with take five of Let Yourself Go and take seven of He's Your Uncle, Not Your Ad, Not Your Ad, Not Your Dad, <laughs> duet with Ray Walker. He's your uncle, not your ad. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's go to ads. Bye, everybody. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we are looking at volume two of Celluloid Rock. As we've said before, this is not an endorsement of bootlegs or imports or anything like that. These are just historical documents at this point because most of this stuff, maybe not all, but most of this stuff has been released on official sources. So this is just kind of a cool look back at what we had back before those things were the case. All right. So we are looking at the final disc of the final set of Celluloid Rock. And this has some pretty nifty stuff on it as well. All right. Since I uh, called Double Trouble your favorite Elvis movie, I'm going to call this my favorite Elvis movie. <laughs> easy Come, Easy Go. There you go. All right. We've got uh, Easy Come, Easy Go. We've got an Easy Come, Easy Go vocal overdub. We've got the backing track to I'll Take Love, Jamie's favorite Elvis song. Yeah, right? We've got another song <laughs> of, of I'll Take Love. Yeah. Then we have a, a very rare Elvis song that I've never heard before, Sing Your Children. <laughs> the backing track <laughs> and a regular Sing Your Children. Sing your children, sing their body. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, the Love Machine backing track and the Love Machine. Yoga is as yoga does backing track, and yoga is as yoga does. So if you want a really good karaoke track of yoga is as yoga does... You got it right here. The song that everybody has been requesting at your shows. Exactly. Man. <laughs> and we got You Gotta Stop backing track with You Gotta Stop. Yep. The, the quality on those are actually pretty good. Okay. Um, but... Uh, oh, and then we get to the Love a Little, love, love a little stuff. This... Quality on this is actually particularly good. Wow. Especially for, especially for the time. Uh, there were things on here that we didn't have for a while, at least the slate counts and before and after the the, uh, well, the song was, finishes. It was much, it was far, um, it was a long time after this that the original tapes were discovered, right? So we just had safeties that were circulating, I think. Possibly. God, I, maybe, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, 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 because uh, they hadn't found the uh, a little less conversation right. takes and yeah. some of that stuff, yeah. So, all right, we've got takes 7, 15, 16, and 17 of Wonderful World. Then we've got takes 6, 7, and 8 of Edge of Reality. Takes sen uh, 10, 16, and vocal plus choir of A Little Less Conversation. Vocal plus choir on a little less conversation. Yeah, I think it's the it's the back it's the backup vocals. 
Okay. And we've got takes. I don't know why they said choir. It's just, yeah, I was going to say, I would never describe that as a choir. Takes four and two of the backing track of Almost in Love, which is cool. Yeah, that is. Um, oh, God. Hold on. The uh, My phone is being dumb. And then to fit round out the disc, we have two songs from the Stay Away Joe sessions. We've got Too Much Monkey Business and U.S. Mail. Yeah. Now, the sessions for, okay, so Too Much Monkey Business and U.S. Mail, I believe, are also binaural mixes. Mm. Uh, they're pretty interesting. I think they have count, if I remember correctly, but they might not. It's been a while since I actually pulled this out to listen to it. But... The takes of Wonderful Wonderful World are interesting. The Almost in Love backing track, I think that's been on FTD, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Uh, one of those is in an alternate key. That's fascinating. Yeah. And I can't remember if that version was supposed to be like for playing in the background, for like, uh, for like ambience music for the scene. Cool. Um, I am going through and checking out... The uh, let's, I'm go, going to the easy come easy go sessions because I'm pretty certain. Okay. Sorry, I'm just checking this out to be sure. Uh, the intro of "I'll Take Love" was cut on some of the original mono and two track releases, and even on celluloid rock. So the the intro of "I'll Take Love" is uh, the, is kind of cut off on this. Mm. Um. Yeah, if I remember correctly, see, move version. Yeah, the easy come easy go. Yeah, I believe the easy come easy go tracks are not. They just muted Elvis's channel. Um, as soon as I said, I'm like, wait, wait. I remember hearing something. <laughs> interesting. And I believe that that's the case. I don't think that he came back in later. So are these out fakes? Basically. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. But uh, still. I mean, at the time, I was like, oh, cool, I can sing to these. That's great. <laughs> and I did. Uh, but still, really neat, really well put together. Uh, and and crazy enough, there's still there are a few things on here that are available in other places since. But not official places. But not official places, which come is on, infuriating. Guys. It is. It's like, come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> like, I don't have these. These are really hard to get nowadays. I don't particularly want to get these. Nope. I want them on official label sources. Yep. So, uh, I, uh, yeah. So, as soon as you all can, that'd be great. <laughs> but uh, in the meantime, I as I, as, as I said, as if nothing else, uh, a really cool a remember, a really cool memory document of what was out back then. I remember seeing these things and going, wow, that's so cool. Again, the covers are just incredible. And yeah, so really special, really neat. Did uh, you all have the Celluloid Rock series when it came out? If you did, what were some highlights for you all? Uh, if there's something that we um, if that I got wrong or messed up or something, let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you. As always, this is not just a conversation. It's not just a monologue. It's a conversation. So uh, feel free to participate. We'd love to uh, love to hear from you. But still, you know, quite a few movies quite a few different things uh some stuff that was available in other places but some other stuff that is available no other places as you said even officially which is too bad um and there the girls 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 material was available in one other place that uh we're going to get to in a future episode that is sort of fascinating a series of legal bootlegs for a very small window of time we're going to talk about that in a future episode, so that's a little tease there. But uh, anyway, I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the Elvis Archival Preservation Society. The whole point of the EAP Society is make sure that Elvis history is not lost to history and the, the differing perspectives and information and stuff is available for current generations, future generations of fans, uh, no matter what your budget level is, because Elvis was really big on being accessible to people of all different budgets, love, budget levels, and we like to carry that forward as best we can. Uh, we are not just a YouTube channel. We're a movement, and that means people power, which means you. 
like, share, comment on the video if you're enjoying yourself. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Send as many Elvis fans as you can over and have them subscribe because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, somebody, again, is going to win this really cool Elvis owned letter opener from 1956. He owned it until the early 70s. And one of you is going to win this when we hit 20,000 subscribers. We're going to do a drawing. You'll win it for free. That's pretty amazing. Now, we've got a lot of other cool things. We've got an Elvis autograph. We have FTDs to give away. A lot of things that we have planned where we reach different levels of uh, subscribers and member base and all that kind of stuff. Because the more we can grow and the more things that we can do, the more we can do for the Elvis community. And we have a ton of really amazing plans. Some stuff that will absolutely blow your mind on a level that really nobody else is doing, which is crazy. But we need a lot of folks to make that happen. So come on over and uh, all of that stuff can be done for free. Doesn't cost anything. Helps us out a lot. And we can all do this together as a community. If you want to help out even more, get in on the ground floor of what we're doing, go to EAPsociety.com and click on Become a Member. And uh, select a tier, you can become a member of the EAP Society. When you're a member of the EAP Society, members get early videos, ad-free videos, extended videos, exclusive content, bonus content, all kinds of cool stuff. We really like uh, taking care of our members. And a uh, big shout out to all of our members, especially our very own Colonel, Colonel Miles Foreman. Thank you, Colonel. Appreciate you very much. All right, we put out content on Tuesday, on Quick Take Tuesday, and of course, every Friday for our main channel content. So until the next video, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And always, TCB. My society, my society, here with all the friends I wanna see. Don't need no high society to get me where I wanna be. My society, yeah, that's for me. My society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society, yeah, that's for me.